podcast for you and we're going to be talking about a social cause which is brand consciousness and for that we have a special guest today Mahin Sajid. Thank you Vishal. Uh, my name is Mahin Sajid and I own Mile by Mahin Sajid and it's basically a brand. It's a local brand where you can get uh, bread, uh, instant bread at very economical prices. So Mahin, have you noticed lately that uh, because of social media what has happened is that a lot of people's fashion trends have changed. Uh, a lot of people are starting to move away from local brands and they're only focused on getting uh, designer brands even if those products are fake. Do you have any idea why that might be? Yes, so these days we actually have a trend of uh, social media influencers promoting brands, specifically luxury and high-end brands and people who follow them can't actually afford those brands so they rather go for fake and imitation uh, alternatives to those brands. So yes, I feel like social media these days have uh, are, is promoting a lot of uh, these things. And I also think that uh, what is actually happening is that when people look at these influencers, they see that uh, these people are really happy, they're very confident, they're very social and they see that the, uh, it's mostly because of the brands that they, that they wear and they promote and so people think that if they are able to wear those brands it will instill in them the same feeling of self-respect that those influencers have so what is happening is that even if people can't necessarily afford those products they are going for imitation products instead of buying actual local goods because they think that people will recognize them more and uh, they will be able to hide all of the flaws that they have within themselves Yes, Kashan, I do agree, but the thing is, people actually forget the fact that if they're caught wearing these imitation brands, they that would reflect on their character worse than wearing something local or supporting a local brand. Uh, that there is two distinct things that we need to mention here is that there is a looking glass self and there is also an external self. Now, what these things mean is that uh, in a looking glass self, what is happening is when you look at yourself, you see yourself a lot harsher than someone else would because you think that there is a spotlight on you and you tend to think that you have a lot more flaws than someone else would perceive out of you and another thing is the external self where what happens is that if someone uh, needs to have some sort of confidence they will attach that said confidence to for example designer brands and they will think that unless they wear those brands they are not a very confident person so I think that is something that we need to tell our youth about that it is not okay to do that and you need to focus on buying quality goods instead of just focusing on whether you have something that is brand name or not. So as a local brand owner, I personally believe that people are so crazy for these western brands that they, uh, whenever they hear somebody uh, wearing a local brand, they actually do not appreciate that. For example, if I wear my own brand and somebody uh, compliments me, then they and then and then when they ask me uh, what am I wearing and I tell them it's my own brand, then they actually uh, there's this sense of inferiority that why is the person wearing um, local brand. And I think a lot of people be very confused as to how someone else can have that confidence that uh, they usually associate with designer brands. So I think it's very important for us to learn that we as people are what are unique and what are special, not necessarily the clothes or the brand we wear. So uh, thank you so much for coming on our podcast and thank you guys so much for listening. Uh, I hope you enjoyed and you learned something new. Please like and share and comment. Thank you.